Ito ang iPhone 7 Plus. So this is a phone na talaga naging hot topic way back nung ni-release noong 2016. Bakit ko nga ba nasabi? Una, Apple removed the headphone jack ng 7 and 7 Plus which I think naman is very apparent kung bakit madaming customers and consumers ang medyo nainis or nagalit. Kasi ba naman kung sanay ka gumamit ng headphone jack tapos biglang tinanggal without prior notice, di ba mainis ka? However, hindi ko naman sinasabi na pangit ang iPhone 7 Plus. Actually, may mga bago na idagdag si Apple sa 7 Plus na I'm sure na magagamit at magugustuhan natin at pag-uusapan natin mamaya. So, here are the features na nagustuhan ko sa 7 Plus and below are some of the aspects na I think hindi ganun price worthy na bilhin for the iPhone 7 Plus. So first up, we have this design. So for me, nothing too amazing. I mean like if I show you this one guys, I bet na you'd say na, meh, it's just fine. Meh, it's just fine. Kumbaga wala siya nung may parang wow factor na kapag tinignan natin. Since for me, medyo outdated na yung design. So sa right side, we have the power button and the SIM slot. Tapos sa left side, we have the volume button and the ringer switch. Tapos at the back, we have the camera sensor, flash, Apple logo, and the iPhone branding. However, don't get me wrong. I'm not totally saying na pangit or cheap looking yung mismo iPhone 7 Plus. Again, it's fine. The classy feels is present, na medyo may kabigatan na commonly a combination ng isang elegant phone. So next naman, we have the two new features ng bago pa lang ito sa market or bagong labas. So I think some of you are wondering, bakit nga ba tinanggal ni Apple yung headphone jack at tinaglagan ng another speaker? Well, aside from louder volume, obviously, it made Apple capable na gawing IP67 dust and water resistance ang iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus up to 1 meter for 30 minutes. Nisa pa, yung fingerprint sensor from the first gen from the predecessors, it's now a second gen fingerprint sensor which for me, I can say na sobrang mas mabilis sh**. Sobrang mas mabilis siya as compared sa first gen na talaga naman na sobrang remarkable. Moving on, another good aspect is yung mismong display. Take note guys ha, this is a 5, almost 6 years old phone or 6 year old phone. Pero the quality it produces for me is mostly equal to most flagship phones that were released a year or more ago. So by the way no, just for context, this phone has a 5.5 inches retina display, 1080 by 1920 pixels and may 401 pixels per inch. And by hearing those specifications, medyo mababa nga lang siya comparing it to most 2022 flagship phones we have right now. But for me naman na, to be honest, whenever I use this phone, pansin ko naman na decent yung napoproduce for a 2016 phone. But again, not up to par or comparable to most flagship phones. Plus, I find the overall look na medyo outdated given the big bezel sa napakalaki talaga. Now, whenever I switch from my phones na may all screen or may mga high to body screen or high to, I, eh, uh, eh. Uh, High screen to body ratio phones talaga nakakapanibago. But then guys, overall, if hindi naman kayo gano'ng maarte at the same time, the bezels and chin does not bother you too much. Trust me guys, you would not need to worry about the quality. Kasi for me, as a tech reviewer and a phone enthusiast, I can say talaga that this screen and color production is talaga sulit for this phone's age and price. So, that's nice. Next naman we have is the camera. So by the way guys, no fun fact, the iPhone 7 Plus pala is the first iPhone na nagkaroon ng dual lens. Now focus ba? Ayun, dual lens. The first lens has 12MP f stop 1.8, tapos the second lens has also 12MP f stop 2.2 for the telephoto lens. Tapos this phone has a max resolution na 4K at 30fps. Tapos sa front camera naman 7 megapixels f stop 2.2, tapos may max resolution na 1080p at 30fps. So for me guys, no shots from this phone are still nice but nothing too mesmerizing. Basically, yung mga photos produced are naturally fine since syempre, this is a flagship phone. Pero over time, nababawasan din yung crisp ng quality habang patagal na patagal. Even comparing this phone sa mga newer gen, mapa flagship man or mid-range phones. However guys, no take note, for this phone's price and comparing it to other phones na kapresyo nito, I must say or I can say na this is still a competitive phone for that specific aspect or for taking pictures. And by the way no again, ito pala yung first phone na capable mag-take ng mga portrait shots. Though may mga inconsistency siya which is given naman for a first phone or being the first iPhone na nagkaroon ng portrait shots or portrait lens. But despite that, it will still all depend on your angle and positioning. And trust me, kapag maganda yun or accurate, it can yield decent shots. Oh, and by the way, I made an in-depth camera test or review ng iPhone 7 Plus. And in case you're interested guys, might as well check it out. Yo, what's up guys? So I'm currently filming using the iPhone 7 Plus, 7 megapixels, 1080p at 30fps. So sound test, mic test, 1, 2, 3. Sound test, mic test, 1, 2, 3. And video test. So by the way guys, ma-ask ko lang kayo kung kamusta ba yung video ko ngayon or kamusta yung video quality, gumanda ba or maganda or pangit or you decide guys, please comment down below pag-usapan natin yan. So that's nice. 
Anyways, vlog test of the iPhone 7 Plus, 1080p at 30 FPS, 7 megapixels. So, first. So yun guys, uh, introduce ko lang kayo sa new pet namin, new member of the family. Trixie! Trixie the biting dog. Right, Trixie? Hmm. Trixie, ba? Let us now discuss the not so decent features or aspects ng iPhone 7 Plus. Performance. For me to be honest, I'll be giving this a 6 out of 10. The reason kung bakit 6 kasi it serves me fine especially sa mga activities na ginagawa ko sa isang backup phone like social media usage, reading articles, searching, YouTube watching, and similar basic tasks. Kaso nga lang to those stuff na ginagawa ko sa personal phone ko na ina-apply ko sa iPhone 7 Plus, yung flexibility and smoothness ay hindi ko ma-experience sa iPhone 7 Plus. I mean, it's a flagship, yes, a flagship, a 2016 flagship phone. So ang advice ko lang, we should not raise the bar too high despite being an Apple flagship. Pero guys no, I am not totally saying na sobrang bad performance wise. Yes, sa mga simple tasks, it does great kaso nga lang sa mga medyo complicated workloads, medyo it falls short nga lang. Also guys, no bad news, the iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 7 will no longer receive software updates. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised naman kasi ganun naman talaga. Typically or usually kapag the phone is over or at least 6 years old, talaga hindi na siya sinusuportahan ni Apple. Sana all sinusuportahan. And ayun, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to this channel would be 7 Tastic. So, that's nice. So sa battery naman, this phone has 2900 mAh, which for me number or specs wise is kinda too low for a 2022 flagship phone. And that extends as well sa mismong life capacity or capability ng mismong phone. I was kinda expecting more sa iPhone 7 Plus knowing that this is a Plus version which should be or more dependable sa mga base models na non-Plus versions or models. But again, take note, it's a 6 year old phone so it is what it is. And that leads us to our last aspect. The deciding factor, the price. So kung gusto nyo bumili ng iPhone 7 Plus, it ranges from 7,000 to 10,000 pesos. And for me to be honest no, I think you should consider adding a bit more. Though it is not a bad phone by any means. But if you want a phone for the long term at the same time, nagsusurvive ba rin naman yung phone nyo, I would highly suggest adding a bit more, mga 13 to 15,000 pesos. And trust me, iPhones in those specific price range are safe na guys. Kumbaga, talaga sulit na. And trust me, it can last longer and more better in terms of the general performance design, display, battery performance, and the camera. So, that's nice. So guys, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe in this YouTube channel. So, thank you very much. So guys, kamo sa yung bago kong setup, mga ba? So, comment down below. So yun guys, no, ay lang naman. So, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.
back camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus, 12MP, 720p at 30fps. Yotsop. Back camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus, 12MP, 1080p at 30fps. So, Yotsop. Back camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus, 12MP, 1080p at 60fps. Yotsop. Back camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus, 12MP, 4K at 30fps. YouTube. Front camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus in a not so decent lighting condition. Sound test, mic test 1, 2. YouTube, 3, 2, 1. Front camera test of the iPhone 7 Plus in decent lighting condition. Sound test, mic test 1, 2. YouTube. Same guys, ayun lang naman. So, for the second time, that's been it. Catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Bangun dari tangan, terjinan, sorry, jangan jinan, jangan tinggal